So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and another unboxing, <laughs> literally. Um, so when I was at uh, Salute, I picked up my order from Graham Gray, Gray, <laughs> Gray Green Customs of some more Caballero 3D prints. Um, if you've seen the video I did a few weeks ago where I was showing some of the knights that I bought and are going to be forming part of my Normans in Sicily project, um, I was just absolutely taken away by how fantastic the these knights were. Just absolutely fantastic. And, and even for an average, um, well, slightly above average maybe, wargaming quality painter, I found them an absolute joy to paint and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed painting them up. Um, and I had to get some more, so that's what I've done. Um, Kudos to Graham, does a fantastic job um, printing them off. He, uh, I'd ordered these a few weeks ago and uh, he was about set to send me the order and then he said, he sent me a note and said, oh, I'm sorry, one of them seemed to miscast, so I'm going to redo it. Um, and then he said, well, since, uh, are you going to be going to salute? And I said, yes. And he said, well, I'll meet you there and um, I can give you the package. Um, and in lieu of postage I could put an extra figure in so you can't say fairer than that and he does a brilliant job because he cleans all these models up they're all um all the supports have gone uh, they've been washed and they're basically just ready to go so if you if you're interested in Caballero stuff have a look at uh, Graham stuff that's the website um he also um does uh, commission painting and um, him and his brother won all sorts of prizes at Salute so well worth looking out. Anyway, enough of that. Let me have a look. At, we'll show you what I bought this time. So um, I added to my knights. So in my previous order I had 11 uh, 11th century knights plus the extra Portuguese guy um, and so I wanted to get a couple more to make up to, um, well, one more to make it up to a unit of 12. So that's this guy here. I think this was a duplicate. Just love the design. Just he's got the full face mask on there. Um, face mask or full um, visor on there. Um, and just look at the detail. Look at the detail on these beautiful, beautiful figures. So that's the extra man. I also picked up. Um, a standard bearer, so this is going to be an army standard uh, who I'm going to put with my commander. Just lovely, very um, southern Mediterranean looking. Got lots of, um, it's got, it's got um, you know, material wrapped around his helmet, um, lots of lush um, clothing. Really, really nice. His horse is rearing. I did say last time one of the issues I had, whoops, one of the slight issues I had with these figures, um, and I don't have many, is the fact they're so and so's to get the horses to stand because, especially when they're rearing like this, they don't have any bases. So it's quite tricky, but it's worth it just for that. Look at that. Awesome, awesome figure. He comes with a, whoops. Arab type shield and I think his standards yeah there's the standard in there oh, there's two standards in there so I'm not sure whether I use those or whether I use my own and you can see the various shields in there as well for these for, for these figures this is the other guy there we go so again this one is actually another standard bearer so what I'll have is an army standard. I'll probably take El Cid out of the unit um, that I painted last time um, and use him as my army commander, put him with the, with the flag, and then put this flag and the extra man into the regiment. So that gives me 12 men again. But as I say, wait to the end of the video and you'll see um, my efforts at painting them. And I'm actually pretty pleased with how they came out. So that's the cavalry. Now let's have a look at some of the other stuff I bought. So the other thing I went in for was these babies. <laughs> the camel riders. Gotta go for the camel riders. Look at these Little brutes. Absolutely wonderful. So 
So there's six camels. Uh, he does them, I think, in a unit... F I think it's a unit five, and then I asked him if he could print an extra one to make it into a unit of six, because that seemed to be more useful for me, uh, to me, for my what I'm planning to do. So there's a couple of different... Uh, that one's the same one, so that must be the duplicate. And then... Another couple here. Really nice, these camels. Really, really nice indeed. Gonna have some fun painting up these. And here's their riders. I don't know whether the Muslims in um, in uh, I don't know whether the the, the Muslims in um, Sicily or Italy had um, camels, but it's the rule of cool. I think these look so amazing, I just had to, to get them. And where does he sit on the... Does he sit at the front or the back? Must be there. Look at that. Where they're rattling around on the box. Beautiful sculpts. This guy's sitting sort of side saddle, I guess, like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> they've got a hole to go on the hump. Look at that. I mean, that's just brilliant. The animation on these figures is just sensational. This guy's sitting side saddle on the other side. Which side do you dress, sir? Suits you. Beautiful. Another dude there. The I don't know. Hopefully the animation is coming out well on these. The faces on them, the the patterns on their on their clothing is just fantastic. This guy with a couple of. Uh, Couple of javelins crossed over. Just magnificent sculpts. So Caballero do these as a uh, Patreon subscription service. So I have actually signed up to be a Patreon. Now I have a 3D printer, I've not even used it yet. Um, hopefully when the man cave is up and running, I might have a go, but I think talking to Graham at Salute it, you know, you can print them and you can print them. Um, he uses very high quality resin, very high quality machines. And as a result, you get a very high quality production. So I'll probably continue to use him to print them out because um, they're just so nice. And he does such a great quality control. So there's the camel riders. Um, I've got here bags with various... Uh, this looks like... I think that might be, is that reins? I think that might be reins for them. Oh my goodness, there are. <laughs> so you even get the reins. Oh, that's gonna be, gonna be fun fitting those. So there's the reins for the camels. Um, we've got a variety of shields. Just unbelievable. So that's that lot. Next up, I did get a few infantry as well. So, Here's some of the the um, Norman style infantry I picked up. Just absolutely sensational. Really, really impressive. These are sort of officer types, commanders, basically. They're going to be. I oh, love this guy, holding his helmet, and pointing. Tell he's an officer because he's pointing. Love this guy with the full faced visor. Just the detail around the belts. Just amazing. So there's them. There's another small unit here. 
Guy's got some sort of circuit over the top of his mail. This guy's stabbing with a spear, would be over his shield. Lovely. This guy again, holding his shield high and parrying with a sword, I guess, as that one will be. Another guy there. So how do these match up to other ranges? Well, I've got a one-armed Bitrix here. Uh, how should I do this? Lay him down. So there you go. Uh, let's put somebody... Actually, this guy's doing a very similar sort of pose. So there we go. So, uh, stand them up. That's probably easier. So there you go. So that is the Victrix Norman from the set. Um, obviously still in the process of making them up. Uh, the Victrix guy looks a little bit chunkier, but they are pretty much the same height. And there's no way they wouldn't fit in together, I don't think. Really awesome. This is a gripping beast um, Muslim warrior. So again, I think that's pretty close. He's obviously in a base and I'm, my guy isn't yet. But I think that's pretty close. Scale rise. Here is a foot saw Norman. He looks a smidge smaller. But not so much you'd actually see. So that's a metal figure. It's just a, if I put them on the ground, they're virtually the same. But if I, uh, it's the kind of figure that's more standy uppy, this guy, more standy uppy. Yeah, no, actually, they're fine. That's, that's pretty good, actually. I think that's pretty close to what you think. To me, they're pretty close scale. And these are some conquest plastics that I picked up for my Norman infantry. Oops, can't get him to stand up. There you go. Again, I think that's a pretty good fit. So, Gripping Beast, Foot Saw, Victrix, and Conquest, all the ones I've got, all seem to fit pretty well. I think that's a pretty good combo. So, you can see these ones will fit in pretty well. Whoops. <laughs> Can't get him to stand up. There we go. I think that's a pretty good comparison. Can't get that guy to stand up. Anyway, so there you go. Size wise, definitely work. Um, printing quality, design quality. They're exceptional, absolutely exceptional. I think they're some of the nicest figures I think you'll ever see. And the fact these are 3D printed, just unbelievable. Detail on them is phenomenal. Um, the quality of the, the sculpts is brilliant. And as I say, if you go to Grey Green Customs, Graham, he'll, he'll clean them all up. So there's no danger of you chopping off a limb while you're cleaning off all the support sprues. Uh, which for me is a major win. Um, so don't have to take my word, for, well you do have to take my word for it because it's my video, but um, I'm going to show you what I did with the first um, 11, um, um, they're actually Spanish um, infant, uh, Spanish cavalry, but they're, I'm using them as uh, to join my Norman army. Um, and as I say, I had some of the best fun I've had painting, and I'm not a painter, so I'm a war game standard painter. Uh, but I had some of my most fun painting up these Norman Knights, which is why I bought more, um, because they just was absolutely wonderful to do. Um, so I'll show you uh, what I did with the first lot. Right, so let's take a look at the first lot that I've painted up. Um, I just absolutely love these. I've been going on about it incessantly. Um, on uh, Plastic Crack um, and other, and on Facebook and what have you. I just absolutely fall in love with these um, 
these miniatures. I did. They, they're just the best. Um, my one slight criticism, and it is only very slight, is that uh, they don't have bases, and particularly for the cavalry, they are fiddly um, to get them to stand up because they're in such dynamic poses. You've actually only got maybe two feet attached to the ground. Um, now, if I was a cleverer modeler, I'd probably find a way of pinning them better, but I've just trusted to Glorious Superglue and then use the Vallejo mud to sort of beat up, build up around it to try and hope that they stick. Um, but other than that, I really can't fault these figures. They're just absolutely superb. Um, and even for an average, you know, a Wargamer standard, okay, slightly above average uh, painter, um, they just come out beautifully. Um, really, really impressed. So... Um, this is my first 11, um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah. Um, I'm still waiting for the standard to come um, to put on this. I want a really bright, perfect standard for this guy. <clears throat> so I'm just waiting for that, so that's the only thing to finish this unit off. We've got El Cid at the front here um, with his rearing horse, charging, you know, calling the, calling the faithful forward to take on the heathens. Um, and you've got the this other kind of officer type here calling to his men with his mace and um, trumpeter and the rest of the, the sort of squaddy group behind. I've, I've deliberately done them very bright. Um, obviously, Caballero does them as uh, Spanish um, knights. Uh, they are going to be joining my Normans in Sicily project. Um, and again, I've taken the sort of readings I've done that the... Um, the Normans in uh, Italy and also in Sicily um, very much adapted the adopted the very bright colours that the Saracens had, um, and um, or the Moors had, and you know kind of that's the that's what I've gone with these. They're wealthy men on um, you know absolutely determined uh, warriors that uh, have no doubt in their superior superiority over everybody else. And they dress accordingly, and that's what I've done. Um, so a real mixed bag, just gone whatever I fancied, really, with the colours. Um, I've sort of based them on the shield transfers. These are little big man shields, uh, shield transfers, and I've had to adapt them a bit because they don't exactly fit. But I've tried to sort of mirror largely the colours. So this guy's got a red, a red and white shield, so I've given him red, red sort of undergarments. Um, this guy again is red and yellow, so he's again red under garments. So I've done that sort of thing just to bring them through, but otherwise just let my imagination go mad and absolutely love them. So also um, I picked up this guy. This is the, he doesn't really fit with the other Normans. He is a 14th century um, Portuguese knight, uh, considering the rest of mine are 11th century. He's a bit out of date, but um, it just was such a lovely figure, I decided to get him. I may snick him into my war band just because I love him. Um, or I may just use him in, in my Baron War figure. I don't know how I'm going to use him, but um, whatever. Absolutely love painting him. And this is a perfect illustration of what these Caballero um, 3D prints are like. Um, the dyna dynamism of the figure. I and mean, the horse is sort of shying to the, to the right as the rider is sort of swinging his mace around to, to smash into his foe, um, which is perfect. The um, the barding on the horse, uh, this checker effect, I can't claim to have hand-drawn every single one, but they were basically all perfectly designed within the uh, the model. So all I had to do is um, put a wash over uh, and then pick out the individual checks that I wanted. Uh, and I wanted this guy to be red and white, and so that's why I've done it, red and white. And um, just literally a little bit of white, uh, a little bit of red, then another coat over the top just to make it stand out a little bit. And then a light uh, wash over the top of all that. And then another uh, pickup of, um, of the colours over the top. And I just love the effect. It's sort of slightly dirty, as you'd expect. But also, you know, he's proud um, and, uh, you know, showing off his, his, his wealth. In battle, uh, the front of the horse is all this heavy chainmail. Uh, I did see someone. I had to chuckle. Uh, button counters exist in every uh, period of wargaming. Somebody was talking about the fact the chains on the on the uh, 
on the horse barding were a little bit too big um, you know but it's a model it's hard to, to do that exactly right but um, it comes out beautifully and I think you know that and the, the plate armor on his on his head which again I've tried to edge with gold just to bring out the luxuriousness of the of the figure um, and show the value of the knight uh, who rides him so really pleased with this and I think you know this is just testament to how wonderful uh, these Caballero uh, miniatures are so there you go hope you enjoyed looking at the new Caballeros that I've picked up um, I hope um, you enjoyed seeing what I did with the first Los of Caballero knights they picked up um, you know just wanted to show them off because I know there was so much interest in them um, you can either pick them up directly from Caballero via his um, uh, online site I think you have to be a patron but I'm not quite sure you I'll put the links anywhere in the description uh, you can probably buy them directly anyway but what you might also want to do unless you've got a very good high um, 3d printer is to go to uh, Graham um, at um, um, I forgot the name go to Graham and uh, pick up um, more or pick, or what you could do is go to Graham or one of the other um, second party um, guys who print who have the license to print these miniatures um, I like Graham very much because he's um, done a fantastic job of quality control so uh, as I mentioned earlier I think he he started to send out my new order and then realized that one of them was slightly not quite molded well um, so he pinged me and said sorry it's uh, just going to be delayed because I'm going to redo it and and that is just brilliant and he cleans up the models all the supports are off so you don't need to worry I think he even washes them um, so they're all perfect and ready to go um, which is which is for me perfect I don't mind spending five pound for a figure when it's that high quality and it's absolutely perfect when it arrives all I need to do is prime it base it and get it painted jobs are good anyway hope you enjoyed it if you did uh, please hit that like and subscribe um, hope you're enjoying your hobbies Hope you're getting out there, getting some games in, and uh, let me know if you've uh, bought into Caballero, what you think of them, how much you're enjoying them, what's your army that you're doing. I'm doing my uh, Norms and Sicily project, but I know there's not a lot of people doing First Crusade um, as well. So I'd be interested to know, is anyone actually using them as Spanish? <laughs> that would be good. Anyway, stay safe, stay well. This is Dom, signing out. Mm -hmm.